Hey guys, Sam here from Avalon Beach Chiropractic. We're here with Craig Falshaw today. He is the CEO of Complementary Medicine Group, and we're talking about his favorite vitamin and how we can strengthen the body from the inside out. It's vitamin... K2. K2. Nice. <laughs> Tell me about vitamin K2, what is it? So it's all about carboxylating proteins. So basically it works outside the liver and makes proteins work. So there's cool proteins in your body that do really cool jobs. Mm -hmm. And the way they discovered it, amazing. I'm gonna see if I can say this word properly. Epidemiological, that was pretty- Epidemiological. Thank you, that was fairly Very close, good. yeah. <laughs> so basically it was invented by the Norwegians. Yep. The Norwegians are a bit like the Tasmanians here, like they're far away from everything, so mm -hmm. they have to be extra clever. So they are beautiful people, as the Norwegians will tell you. Absolutely. But they have really shocking bone health. Okay. Why is that? Because in the winter, and I've been there in the winter, and it is freaky, midday, it's like 6 p.m. sun here. Yeah, you My brain was just going, oh. Get that two hour block of sun like Yeah, that's yeah. it. And it was, it was a total head spin. So they have really poor bone health because they don't get enough D3, mm -hmm. because they don't get enough sun, and it's snowing, and it's nice, and it's wintry, but there's not enough sun. So they thought, what are we going to do? So they looked around at all the studies, and they found a study on a population of women in Honshu in Japan. This is mm -hmm. in the 1950s, mm -hmm. so long before I was born, thanks for asking. In the 1950s, they found this population of women that were 105 years old. Yep. They had amazing cardiovascular health mm -hmm. and they had no fractures, no bone mm -hmm. problems. They were healthy, they were walking in the fields, everything was wonderful. So they thought, well, what is this population of women in Honshu doing different to everybody else in the world that we could see that they have this amazing bone health and heart health? Yep. And the answer was vitamin K2. They have a traditional dish that they eat every single day called natto. It's a fermented soybean dish. Okay. I tasted it. Imagine like old socks and dirt mixed together. I don't imagine a yeah. fermented soy dish tastes particularly no, nice. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it smells. It smells bad. But they ferment it, and in the fermentation product uh, process, they make lots of vitamin K2. Yep. So they had a very, very high vitamin K2 status, which mm. you can measure with pathology. Um, yeah. So very high K2 status, mm. very low incidence of heart problems, and any bone issues. Mm -hmm. So that was how it was discovered. But basically, like K1, a longer side chain, works outside the mm -hmm. liver and carboxylates or activates proteins. 20 human clinicals, the Knappen study, 2013, it was 244 postmenopausal women, Yep. 36 months, on 180 micrograms of Menic 7 vitamin K2. So we've got, I like doing this with my products, mm -hmm. I like the clinical trial dose of the clinical dry material and nothing else. Yeah. Don't fluff it up, just make it what it is. So the key outcomes there over 36 months were uh, improved arterial flexibility. Mm -hmm. um, and they measured that by pulse wave velocity. So they put a yep. sensor in the carotid and a sensor in the groin and the time it took to get was measured. So more flexible arteries mm -hmm. and importantly, greater bone density mm -hmm. uh, in the neck of the femora. Why did they measure it there? because when you're old and you fall and you break your hip, that's the bone that you break. Yep. So That's the main area we generally test on a bone density scan yeah. as well. And they did it by DEXA, so it was all, yeah. all proper. I was double blind placebo controlled, but from placebo, the active group improved and the placebo group got worse yep. from the start point. So the actual delta, the difference between the two is massive. Mm -hmm. So a huge improvement. Brands, our brands in GoVita, uh, 180 micrograms, the dose you want to look for. Yep. It's the Nappen study dose, mm -hmm. and it's the actual study material in the product. So you're getting study material at the study dose with nothing else. We did ours in a V-cap, so it's vegan friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's no animal derivatives in there. It's made in Australia, uh, packed in Warri wood. Cool. Yeah, so this, this video series, I don't think I actually told you before we started, no, Craig, details. but it's, it's sharpened the mind, yes. it's strengthened the body, Good. and straightened the spine. I like so it. this comes into 
strengthen the body yes from the inside excellent except from instead of being from the outside yes good. so we're strengthening arteries yeah and bones that's right with this vitamin yeah craig has offered to do a talk at the clinic on k2 happy to do a talk yep and if anybody wants any more info in the meantime there is uh, vitamink2.com.au yep. which is our website and that has a bunch of study references and FAQs about why and what and how uh, there's essentialnutrition.net.au where you can learn more about this one Yep. and also our cool new sage product for cognition did I tell you about that? <laughs> no you didn't I that. should tell you about that <laughs> for cognition yeah Okay. it's epic it's called Sibelius Sage. Yep. It was invented by a guy called Dr. Kieran Edwards at Oxford Uni. We've got the rights for Australia and New Zealand. We've just launched it in this brand in Govita. Basically, uh, 333 milligrams once a day uh, in the big clinical that they did. The key outcomes were improved. You ready for this? Yep. I'm taking it. Improves like mathematics. Yep. And memory recall. Okay. Epic. That'd be good for me. It's epic. I'll give you some. Yep. And I'll be... Well. A mathematician in no yeah, time. Yeah, yeah.